bit stuff. I had to put a halt to proceedings because the vice was doing my nutting. Moving all over the shop, so I had to put some bigger washers on. So we may now proceed. So that is what all that effort's been about. So CNC Alley machine shed, uh, sh <laughs> Alley machined pegs, that's the one. So these are what I got for the GS. Never used them, but I'm gonna use them on the bobber. Um, whether I have it black still, I don't know. I'll, I can buy another set as well because I can just easily thread on another set. May even go for another set, you know, different design, what have you. But I like these because obviously the bobber's a bit low, and these pegs kind of extrude quite quite far on the bobber. So if I do take it a bit low on the corner, probably not. But if I do, that's a bit of give. So yeah, cool. Right, what I need to do now is the kind of rotating tube section all the controls so I've got a bit of tube that's gonna make up that kind of collar it's gonna sit on that shoulder so I'll cut that out shortly um, as well as that the control that's gonna sit on that now this is kind of my, my form and my profile so this is what I'm gonna cut out and obviously you're gonna weld this part onto the tube and obviously this is gonna actuate like that so that's that worked for me I'll put it on the bike test out really good um, happy with that now I went ahead and bent a piece of 10 mil mild steel and yeah I'm chuffed with that I've done a right job so what I'll do is like I said I'll, I'll take this end down so it fits the kind of the curvature of the tube weld it in there and then this end will obviously be threaded um, at some point because uh, I'm going to stick some I don't know, knurled bar on there or obviously thread some knurled bar on there don't know what yet I'm not decided I'm still kind of thinking what to do with that but happy with that so I need to do to the side now so I'm going to show you how I manage that Okay, so propane torch is not going to heat the metal up to a nice kind of cherry red, but I've given it a trial with and without the torch, and it does it does help it.
So we've got our two controls and the tubes, uh, collars, whatever you want to call them. And I've just filed down the bottoms of the controls with a curved file. So stick them that way. So that's how they're gonna go. And obviously that part will be in the middle. So just need to weld these together now. Now, flux core welding is always messy until you give it a bit of a polish. As I said, not too bad. So I'm not going to win any awards for uh, best welds in the world, but um, yeah, they're doing alright job. Just clean up those last bits of spam. But um, that's all from that little welder there. I've had probably over about a year now, and. Uh, yeah, never welded before. Just uh, used it to basically teach myself, which has been an absolute pain in the ass sometimes. But yeah, it's done a, it's done an all right job. I think what I'd like to look at next is probably um, maybe a nice uh, TIG welder. I think that's the next step, or a lathe. Yeah, I'd like a lathe now as well. Yeah, but again, I've got nowhere in the shed to put this stuff, so and I can't keep it in the shed because, as I've mentioned before, it's in the back of the back of the house, and there's access to everyone else here. So I finally convinced myself to get a pillar drill, but obviously that's kept in the house still on that nice little roll cap. Um, if you want me to do a video on the welder or the roll cab, just drop me a comment. Um, yeah, I can go through that, I suppose. Easy enough. Right, okay. Uh, assembly. So, where are we? So, this morning I've gone ahead and I've welded on the tabs for the linkage on the bike. So, I'm going to show you that in a minute. So, done on both sets. So, what I'm going to do now is just give you a quick assembly of how everything comes together. So, this one's all ready to go on the bike. Work beautifully. So first off, uh, foot peg into the stud, and then goes on there, and then not on the end. Now I think, well, I'm pretty much know what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace this nut for a brass, um, probably a brass spacer. Probably put one down here as well, just to give it a bit more. Um, they kind of act like bearings, and I, I should imagine. Well, that's my theory anyway. So I'll do that later at some point, because uh, at the minute this steel's kind of rubbing against uh, the alley foot peg. So I don't want it damaging that. So I'm going to do that at some point. Right, I'm going to fit on new controls, but just to kind of give you a bit of a look. Now this is the prototype setup, just to give me an idea how everything kind of functions uh, with the brackets and such. So, yeah, what can I say? Um, standard bolt, just for the foot peg, I guess, and then I just kind of welded up this kind of tube bracket. Um, but you can see underneath, I've got the linkage running down 
to the back of the bike. So you've just got a rose joint here, and then linkage runs all the way back to this kind of lever here. Now, at the minute, that's still a prototype, so uh, I'm not going to use it. But it's just, yeah, just got me through, and see it kind of moving around a bit. So what I'm going to do is utilise the original brake lever. I'll cut uh, the massive arm off on it and just utilise kind of the spline section that works on this spindle here. And then all the way back, you've just got the standard braking system. But you can see, it works really well. Right, gear selector side was a doddle. So basically, um, utilised the original selector, and then all I've done is just extended uh, the linkage really. So again, rose joint, linkage goes all the way down to the selector. Dead simple. 